So let's have a look at some applications. And really, the first few are pretty simple. Sine of 2b would be the same as sine of b plus b. From our result is 2 sine b cos b. And cos 2b, well, take your pick. <laughs> We'd be quite happy to see any of these. So we'll give them all a tick because cos 2b is equal to cos squared b minus sine squared b or 1 minus 2 sine squared b or 2 cos squared b minus 1. Either one, we're quite happy to pay. Tan 2 theta, well, as we said, was 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan squared theta. So we've got to remember these results and put them into practice every time. In these questions, 2 cos cubed, cos 3x, sine 3x, can we simplify it? Well, we know that that would come down and reverse our rule, be sine 3x plus 3x, which is sine 6x. So you can see this idea of a double angle formula because we have this one and it doubles it up. Cos squared 7y minus sine squared 7y. Just be careful when we get in the extension 1 course because we're going to see minus instead of plus. If that's plus, the answer is 1. Because it's minus, it goes back to the situation where it's cos 14y. 3, 2 tan 5 theta over 1 minus tan squared 5 theta. Make sure they're the same angles so we can go, okay, then that's going to have to be coming down to tan 10 theta because it's the reversal of that rule we had before. And 1 minus 2 sine squared y, we've written as cos 2y. Two, two so we can see how we're putting these into practice. In these cases, we're, we're reversing all our rules that we learned, but we, we, we see in the applications that can come about.